All right, we are back. I screwed up. I should have took the camera with me down to the elevator and got a video of that sunrise because the sunrise this morning was amazing. There was one little one little patch of clouds kind of little did a little weave through the sky right directly at the sun and right before it broke the horizon that scun or that sky was like blood red and the skies were all lit up orange it was it was pretty neat but see what we can get done today dad had a couple things left he was gonna do and then he said he wanted her was gonna try to come down and drive today um we'll see how that turns out because he tried that last weekend and then he kept having to turn around and fix everybody else's broken shit so um it didn't get nearly as cold last night at dude instead of frosting so corn's a little damp but still tested that, that load right there that i just hauled in tested 16 too so I don't know what the hell happened with my test or why it was testing so wet. The only thing I can come up with was, or that would make any sense, was there was some surface moisture on the corn and maybe that screwed with the the electrode in there that measures continuity. So, who knows? What do you think, pup? Hmm? We think. Okay, we'll see how she does today. I don't think my glow plug is working on this because... It's mid 40s right now. It shouldn't. And even yesterday, it was warm enough. It should not have started that hard if the if the manifold heater. I keep calling it. I call it a glow plug. Technically, it's not a glow plug. It's a manifold heater. But um, if it's actually working, it shouldn't start that hard. I don't think. Either the switch. I think either the switch has take took a shit, or I got a bad connection, or the heater element is could put because when i first got it if you hit that heater for 25 30 seconds it'd fire right up and i'm gonna bring a can of ether with me just give it a quick snort and start it that way but i kind of forgot again There is no way that preheater is actually working. Of course, I'm sure sitting outside for the two years before I got the barn put up didn't help the situation none. There could be a little bit of corrosion somewhere. Well, she wants to. I don't think that manifold heater's working one bit because I mean it's chilly but it's not that chilly and it wasn't like it was windy last night and it froze the combine to death so we'll have to look into that so let her warm up there for a minute and like I say I already serviced it last night so she's ready to rock and roll I don't know how long the sun's going to stay with us today. They're talking this afternoon it's supposed to cloud up and we got chances of rain starting this evening and then they get pretty good overnight and then it's supposed to taper off by midday tomorrow. So get done what we can. I have to start off a little slow today. That corn's pretty darn damp. in the combine so much as the head because this thing in damp corn if you push it too hard likes to wrap leaves around the stalk rolls and then you got a mess on your hands park the 
truck back just a little bit. Okay, I got my first load of the day. I guess I'm gonna have to keep a better eye on Teeter while I'm down here because I worked these off and made one pass. I had one set of four going to the back, so I went to the far side of that and came back down this side and got about halfway down the field and she was going nuts. There's a damn coyote standing right there. 
kind of want to, I mean, I guess we're still technically at like daybreak, so it's not too weird to see them out this early, but still, we don't need to have her tangling with one of them bastards. six so this is seven and this should be about nine and a half acres it's a it's like a rectangle ten but the tree the tree line is part of the tear the tree line is inside of the ten so you lose some there but anyway we're gonna run down the road here real quick before I take off with the truck and work the end rows off of that next pass so that we got a spot to park Thank <laughs> you. 
in a butt to open up because this sliver up here is so damn narrow. Okay, got a full hopper off of this field. I got these underrows worked off. I made one pass to the back, one pass along the back, and then I was full and I had to meander my way back down my four rows. So now I gotta walk down and get the truck. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do, I don't know if we're gonna get done down here today or not, this field, at least first impressions it appears to be running better than that field did down there and this field's bigger so with the time we got left i don't although i really honestly haven't even lost that much time because it's 11 30 now so go home grab a bite to eat real quick and then get them trucks hauled in and we can get back here to shelling and really haven't even missed a lick um but I should be able to finish up down here. If we don't get it done today, which I doubt. We, we might, but I doubt it. Hopefully get it finished up tomorrow if we don't get too much rain overnight. And then I got that 12 acres left with the hay for the, was the hay field. And then I'll be done done. Which I should be able to teeter, get out of that ditch. If you get wet, you're staying down here. Um, if... Uh, I should be hopefully get done 
completely by Friday. And I sent, I mean, I've never been done this early before. Um, with the weather's looking decent for November. Um, what I think I'm going to do before I start, before I get too heavy into tillage is uh, tomorrow I'm going to make a phone call. And actually tonight when I get home I got to look because I got a list of fields that needed lime. Um, see what I need for lime. If I remember right, I needed like 52 ton. Uh, see if I can get a couple loads of lime hauled up before next weekend. And see if I can get my hands on a lime spreader and get my lime spread before I start tillage because I got all of November, why not? Um, and not everything needed lime. I think I had like six or seven fields that needed like a ton, ton and a half an acre. Might've been a couple more than that, but it wasn't, I don't got to spread everything. Um, but it'd be nice to get it done this fall because spreading lime in the spring you risk the possibility of the lime tying up uh, fertilizer because of the way they interact with each other i mean it's not it, it's not a super duper huge deal guys do it get away with it because it's easier generally easier to spread guys have more time to spread early spring than they do late fall because just if harvest runs long well this year everybody's trucking right along because the weather's been in our favor but if I can get lime and if I can get my hands on the lime spreader I used last time it would uh, be nice to get it done yet this fall so but anyway I'm gonna go down here and get the truck and get all this taken care of and get sorted out and we'll be back
my truck's full combine's full dad's probably about 10 minutes out um i don't know if it's going to start now that i got all the end rows worked off i should be able to run or fill trucks faster if it gets to the point where we get too far off it might be i get dad loaded get my truck loaded i take off with my truck dad comes back and he either has to wait or i get him to jump in here and start running and we just fill our own truck. I don't know how that's going to work out, but corn seems to be running pretty damn good, though. I've got it. All the end rows worked off. I got two sh two runs up the center to split the short rows off, and then I got all the goofy point rows worked off, which wasn't... There was one eight-row pass over there. Formed a set of point rows. So everything's squared up now, and not goofy so but this is already working on the third truck and for all intents and purposes the field just got opened up I'm calling it for the day um, we jumped ahead a little bit I got all these long rows done but uh, about 35 40 minutes ago we had a rain come through while dad and I were taking a couple of those down to the elevator and I'm gonna hide that key real quick and uh, it didn't seem like much, but apparently it was more than what it felt like because it made these stocks really tough. And on the way back here, it was raining pretty good, so I sent Dad home, and I figured I was just going to come move the combine out of, or back from the road. And I got down here, and it had quit raining, so I was like, hey, what the hell, we'll see how it does. And so I still got enough time to get that load there down to the elevator. And I... Uh, had three or 12 rows left in the long rows to get them done and i was like well i don't want to leave in damn long rows so i picked them off and oh they were 
them stocks got tough tough i was down to about three and a half mile an hour and it's sucking a bunch of trash in there into the combine because they're tough and it's not this hides on the combine i'm all sorts of but regard anyway that it, they're just they're not feeding very well through the head and they're not it's sucking a bunch of horsepower going through the combine still shelling fine it just the amount of trash and everything is it's just it ain't worth it ears don't want to roll off of the center dividers the husks are sticking and it's trying to wrap around the auger and it's just it's sunday i don't mind quitting early there's probably i'm gonna guess between two and a half and three truckloads left so if i can get here tomorrow get a truckload picked and down to the elevator fill my truck and dad's truck again we'll be done down here and that'll be that so but i'm gonna go ahead and get this load hauled in real quick and then we'll get back to the house and add up the weight tickets and i'll tell you how that field down there went okay well that was some good corn which kind of surprised me because the ears weren't over i mean they were decent they were what i would call regular size ears they weren't like oh my god great big huge baseball bats but um that first field figuring on nine and a half acres it was i should have wrote down the total it was over two thousand bushel um figuring nine and a half acres was 213 bushel an acre not bad so i'm curious to see what this other field does because it seems like it's it's doing better so i'm pretty ecstatic about that gotta love muck imagine what that dirt would do if i had a pivot on it because that side of the road if you go to the next big field just south of where i'm shelling right now that field has two big pivots on it if you go to the other side of the road they got to get rid of the water that 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 whole like 2,000 2,500 acres whatever it is down there that muck it might even be more than that it might be closer to 3,000 acres of muck um it's it's really hit or miss as to where the bottom is and whether you need to irrigate it or whether you need to put tile on it but anyway um i cannot complain about 213 bushel corn for a drought year so and like i say hopefully tomorrow provided we don't get a whole crap ton of rain tonight which it looks like it's just supposed to be like spotty showers not widespread um we'll go down there and finish that up i'm probably not gonna bother videoing it just because I just want to buzz down there and get it taken care of and be done with it. But, uh, and the viewership on the corn harvest videos is kind of tapering off. So I'm guessing people are getting tired of seeing it. Um, I don't know, it is what it is. I can't really spice things up. It's nothing breaks and everything's going smooth. It just, and I'm, I'm sorry that today everything happened kind of inside the cab since i had dad to help it was kind of a sprint to get done what i could while i had the help so i wasn't trying to waste a whole lot of time getting a lot of good shots and then that rain showed up and kind of shot the rest of the night all to shit so but anyway um i guess we uh had a pretty decent day probably somewhere in the neighborhood of three thousand bushel shelled with I can't remember if I was at nine or ten loads. I lost count. But we were hoofing it. So, yeah, I guess. With that being said, oopsie, that's it for this one, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.